Hello and welcome to Captain and Morgan's War Games. Today's uh, video is going to be about the upcoming launch edition on the what we've had, had so far. Well, we, we've been teased with uh, the look of how the book's going to be look, looked looks. Uh, we know there's going to be an extra phase. That's the command phase. Uh, I'm assuming from how it reads and it looks that it's going to be very similar to sort of the Age of Sigma Heroes phase. We, we know we're going to get blast weapons and that we're going to be a little bit better against uh, hordes. We don't know if they'll ignore, still have a look, ignore line of sight and how that will interact with the obscured wall of uh, some some terrain will give you. There's terrain that's supposed to be like a third player. It's going uh, uh, and be more interactive. Uh, well, we've just had a bit on missions. We know there's uh, like combat, which is 500 points. Then there's the thousand points and strike forces 2k and the 3k. Now I'm going to concentrate on strike force because this is probably what all tournaments are use, and it's two two k points limit trail, and you get trail command points to start with. Now we're going to the Warhammer community site on the, when they posted yesterday's uh, tease up uh, answered to the question that if you are battleforged army. In the command phase, you will have ways of generating command points. Uh, how many and how that works, we'll have to wait and see. But so you start off with twelve, and there will be ways of adding to that. Uh, they teased uh, a map and the mission, which was the four pillars, which is has been in previous chapter approves and uh, so, so it's a just a full but I've given it a pre pre planned map with a pre placed objectives uh, you have primary object objectives and secondary objectives uh, from what I've seen and what I've read it looks a, uh, like a, a, a bit of ITC and Nova combined. Uh, so you'll be able to sort of primaries will be, be the objectives of course and the secondaries will be either killing stuff or holding doing something with objectives or or there's what ones to do with psychic power uh, and they seem to uh, and they, they did mention that there would be uh, faction specific ones as well which are quite interesting uh, of course they've also re revealed that points will be going up across all factions and this is really just to be able to a, a to, to limit this, to bring the number of uh, models somebody can bring down and it's also to try and start balance, make it easier when balancing things out. It'll be interesting to see they, uh, what they showed was that intercessors are going back up to 20 points. They were 17 in chapter, chapter approved. That's a three point increase. Uh, cultists have, have gone up from four points to six points. That is what they've shown. Uh, so, I, I'm assuming that across the board there will be units that go up like that, a few points here and there. Some might go up more, and then, then in chapter by the time chapter approved comes out, we will have had enough. Anyway, it might be chapter approved next year uh, when things start getting 
realigned it depends on whether we get any talk, more tournaments this year and we get any data from and feedback from that sort of perspective uh, we know there's going to be uh, combat attrition in in the morale phase and that's going to improve morale it's no yeah it's, they're trying to get rid of you either lose nothing or you lose everything uh, they want they thought it was a bit it was it did something or it didn't do anything so they want it a bit more interactive uh vehicles aren't and monsters you're not gonna they're not gonna change it to them no, no longer be going to be able to tag a tank and it, it not be able to shoot it's going to be able to shoot in combat now and monsters are going to be able to do the same way through so all in all ninth edition seems to be look very promising i mean they're building on what they have the core walls on eighth and they're just polishing and fine tuning tweaking adding a few bits just to to make up uh, to me i've been impressed by what i've seen and heard and i am hoping that from the teasers that we'll have an excellent game system uh, missions excite me either uh, for a long long time now i've been a fan of the itc uh, i haven't played in over too much uh, but these are very si similar i've had a look at the nova just recently uh, built one over it and it this looks and promises to be probably the best mission set gw uh, uh, produced it with, for 40k anyway uh, and that's my hope only time will tell of course but we uh we shall see thank you for watching thank you for watching if you've been have enjoyed please hit the like button press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed remember everybody knows the dice are loaded